Next, we're going to talk about how to start recording MIDI directly from the montage. But before we do so, it's really useful to understand how the Montage and Modi X actually send MIDI. So I've got this uh, little utility called MIDI Monitor running here, and you can see it's going crazy with real-time messages at the moment. So I'm just going to go into Filter and turn off real-time stuff, and I'll hit Clear. And on this performance, CFX concert, there are four parts, and when you are using the montage, each part will send its data on the according MIDI channel. So part one will use channel one, part two on channel two, part three on channel three, right up to part 16 on channel 16. This is not changeable except by messing around with hybrid or single MIDI mode. Just to make sure that we're in the right mode here, let's uh, just go into utility. And under MIDI I.O., make sure that you are using USB MIDI. Um, hopefully you've already done that, because uh, if not, then all of the stuff we've talked about, um, so like sending the audition data in, would not have worked. And um, we also want local control on, up, MIDI, off. Uh, you can do a shortcut to this by just going shift utility for a quick setup and stand alone. Uh, oh, I forgot one thing we need to go into advanced and make sure that MIDI IO mode is set to multi, if we haven't already. Okay, this part will send on channel one and two, three, four. Even though this is all representing a single instrument, the uh, CFX concert piano. And if I were to play a single note, you'll see that right now we had data on channel one, two, three, and four, just to play that single note because we've got stuff happening on note off, note on, and if we play a chord even, we'll get all sorts of other stuff. So when we record MIDI from the montage, we need to record all the channels. Let's go do that. I'm gonna create a new external MIDI track. I'm not going to use the external instrument plugin for reasons that I will explain in a minute. And then I just want it to monitor montage port one, all channels. And when I start playing this, we should see some things happening. The next thing that we need to know about recording MIDI into a DAW is that you almost invariably want to disconnect the keyboard from the tone generator and use the DAW as the controller for which messages make it from the keyboard into the tone generator and vice versa. So to do that, we need to use shift utility and MIDI record on DAW. All that actually does is it just switches local control on and off. So by turning off local control, the keyboard will still send MIDI events into the DAW, but it won't also send them to the tone generator. It'll be down to the DAW to either send messages to the tone generator or not. So having done that, let's switch back into Logic. And if we try to play anything, you'll see that even though I'm pressing keys and I'm registering the keys that I'm pressing up here, nothing is actually playing. And if you have been watching the uh, output on the montage you'll see that nothing is happening. So to do that we actually need to have a MIDI track that will receive the MIDI data and send it back to the tone generator. So let's add a new external MIDI. I don't want to use the external instrument plugin for reasons I'll explain in a minute. and I want it to use montage port 1 and all channels. We'll hit create on there and now we've reconnected the tone generator and the keyboard through that MIDI track. There is one thing to note though, and that is that when you are in local control off mode, any controls that send standard MIDI messages, MIDI CC messages, will continue to work, like the keys and the super knob, which I've got configured to send on MIDI CC, uh, MIDI CC 95, I think. But these knobs and faders don't send MIDI CC, they send SysX. Let's uh, take a quick look at um, the monitor here. When I turn the super knob, 
there we are, we've got data happening on channel 95. But if I turn at this final knob here, we are seeing sysx messages. And I think the same is true for the faders. Oh, that's, that is actually sending uh, MIDI CC data, unexpected. But what that means is that when I turn this knob, even though it was sending sysx and we saw it in the monitor just now, because the control surface is detached from the tone generator, it's not actually registering. So turning that knob doesn't actually do anything. And you wouldn't actually notice this on the Modi X because you don't have these LED collars that tell you whether or not something has uh, registered. So you'd be blindly turning your knobs and uh, nothing would be happening. Thankfully, there is a way to fix that though, and it needs to be done in Logic at a project level setting. So this is not something you can set up globally and then forget about it. We're gonna to go to File, Project Settings, MIDI, and you have to wait until you have at least one MIDI track in your project before you can do this. But we're gonna to go to MIDI, General, MIDI Through, SysX with MIDI Through function, enable that, and then send it to Montage Port 1 without a channel number, just Port 1. And now our knobs are reconnected. 